Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas No Kill. We are heading down towards Prim, and then we are going to do the NCR Correctional Facility before heading back to finish off Good Springs. Uh, this does mean there's a good chance that I will be running into a few geckos, uh, but luckily uh, it's fairly easy just to mess with their. Uh, it's fairly easy to mess with their pathing. Uh, just by running up and down rocks. So, for example, I'm now going to do this. And this is going to pretty much confuse them. Because you can just hop off cliffs and they can't actually follow you. They need to follow the actual ways down. So if I now do this, I should actually now be significantly ahead of any of the geckos that are following me. Um, any of you who know uh, Fallout New Vegas very well are probably going to be kind of really confused and despairing of me at this point and you're probably going to be asking me why I'm not kind of rushing straight to the New Vegas Medical Clinic to get the intelligence uh, augmentation and uh, the intelligence augment implant and I'm fully aware of it um, however one of the a kind of a little addendum I should specify that I was reminded of uh, earlier uh, that I did actually forget to put in the rules video is I'm not going to be doing anything that requires kind of quick save quick load spamming at all um, so anything like trying to sneak my way uh, past um, the uh, past the death claws or anything to get my way there oh hello NCR hey, the yep Hello, something's going on in Prim. I know, you should probably be protecting them. Why can't you protect them? Yeah, I'll go and speak to someone later. Uh, anything that involves um, saving and then just loading until I happen to kind of get lucky and sneak my way through, I will not be doing any of that. Um, so in this case, I'll be playing the game fairly straight. I won't be kind of, uh, I won't be kind of rushing my way through to New Vegas. I'll be following the path the game more or less wants me to. Um, just because, yeah, I think it's kind of cheap. Uh, to just take advantage of saving and then loading over and over until you happen to get uh, lucky enough uh, through. Ooh. Never forget this safe. This safe is very uh, is full of valuable things. And while I'm passing through Prim, uh, do actually bother to go to uh, the area, the tent that's not Lieutenant Hazers, because the tent is empty but has NCR uh, gear in it. And the NCR armor will pretty much be uh, the best armor that you're going to have uh, at this point. Uh, because right now the leather armor that you got uh, from the store has a damage th uh, threshold of 6. Uh, the armor, meanwhile, has a damage threshold of 10. I'm going to give myself an extra 2 uh, with the trooper helmet. It's a bit natty, but uh, it's okay. Uh, I Is there any reason not to wear the mantle armor? Not really, uh, but I don't feel like I, I feel like I feel like a bit of a phony dressing up as a member of the NCR this early in the game. Because even though I am going to be doing an NCR run, uh, I'm going to be doing as many quests as I can. So I'm just going to go for the uh, the neutral uh, leather armor for now. I will put the mantle armor on uh, on the occasions when I actually happen to need it. So the reason why I actually came here isn't because I actually want to do prim just yet. It's because I need to get to the prison uh, via a route that doesn't take me uh, directly past uh, the powder gangers. To my mind, I think the easiest way to do this and also a way that will be useful because it uh, activates a couple of fast travel locations you'll be needing later is to go to Prem and then just head around the outside of it here. So just wander around the outside. Wow. Uh, there will be a guy up on top of the roller coaster that will take a couple of pot shots at you, but it, it, you know he probably won't even hit you. And if he does happen to hit you, then there's a very good chance that it will do kind of minimal damage at all. Okay, and now we're coming up on the uh, on one of the little encampments, uh, which is useful to pass by, if only because Dino Toy uh, that weighs nothing. So why would you not want the Dino Toy and a couple of dynamite, which either they weigh almost nothing or worth 25 each. So well worth grabbing uh, on your way past. Uh, so this takes you pretty much right up to the prison, and because I have not run into any members of the Powder Gang as yet, they will be neutral to me and they will not open fire. So just head down this way and the gate is down there. Entry price is a bit extortionate mine, it's a hundred caps to get in, there's no way to talk your way past it. Hey there, girl. When you go in, um, the game uh, acts a little bit weirdly. Uh, when I go in there will be a guy standing to my right who will give me a good talking to about how while, I'm, while I've done some good, I'm just going to speak to him, I'm just going to speak to this guy. Hey. I've been sent to tell you that. How do you know who I am? Exactly a friend. You know you've helped us out some all the same. No, I haven't. We figured some kind of truce is in order. 
Truce, we've never met before. This is literally the first time in the game that I've actually said a word to a powder ganger. Ah, oh, dear. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what this guy is kind of meant for. I don't know if this guy's meant if you've like had if you've had a brief exchange of fire with powder gangers out in the field. Uh, you're still allowed in here. Uh, I'm not sure. So, uh, go in here. Quickly grab the health kit. Just kind of hide yourself and grab the health kit. It's pretty easy to, uh, to grab that. So here we are in the main building of the prison. Uh, worth noting, uh, there are a couple of average locks that are worth having here. So a gun cabinet and there's some good stuff in that office too. So definitely worth coming back here with a lock of 50. Let's have a quick chat with Eddie. Dawes said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason Because I am doing a run that encourages me to do as many missions as I can. Yep, I will good. totally go and deal with Chavez. Now, if you came the way I came, you can just uh, fast travel to the Powder Gang at Camp South, where Chavez is now based. And just walk up to Chavez himself and have a quick chat with him. You just walked into the wrong camp, my friend. Hand over everything you've got and we might... He doesn't seem like a very nice man, but actually... That's nothing new. Am I supposed to be him? Yep. They just need speech of 30 and Chavez backs right down. All right. Pickings were getting slim around here anyway. Chavez dealt with. Annoyingly, the game does actually... Uh, there's no way to fast travel uh, into the prison. You, if you fast travel to the NCRCF, you just get taken outside the front door. Which is kind of annoying, because it does mean that there are three loading screens uh, between the fast travel arrival location and Eddie himself. Which, you know... Doesn't take that long, but um, can be annoying because obviously New Vegas does just occasionally decide to crash. Dying on loading screens is one of uh, Fallout New Vegas's favourite pastimes. Uh, aside from being, you know, an utterly amazing game, it is also, you know, a slightly buggy one. I think we're all willing to acknowledge that. So uh, I, I try to stay away from loading screens as far as I can. What? Chavez has been dealt with. Happy you cleared that up for me. Something feels funny about him, and I want you to. All right. Most. So next, I have to go and deal with a merchant who is hanging out near the Good Spring source. So I will just fast travel there and go and have a quick chat with that merchant. All right. Now just head here, which is from very close to uh, Good Spring source, which is right there. Uh, just head to Gene Skydiving over this way. Better be careful around these parts. I hear there's powder gangers around. So, either a speech of 30 or an intelligence of 6 uh, is enough to uh, see through his disguise and see he's not actually a merchant at all. He is going to, in fact, be. Uh, he's a bounty hunter trying to catch the powder gangers. I've been hanging around. Yeah. So he's on his way. He's also a very bad bounty hunter because there are actually powder gangers literally uh, behind this building. Uh, there are some uh, right here. Look, there's two. Uh, he says he was hoping to catch uh, to catch some separate. There are two who are separate from the rest of them, but he just couldn't be bothered. Uh, while you're here, uh, it's worth nipping into uh, Gene Skydiving because uh, there is some good stuff here. Specifically... There is the key for this locker, which would normally be average locks. So I wouldn't be able to get to it yet. And some, basically, it's largely just uh, some guns, some ammo. But, you know, it, it's some stuff that's worth having. So we're back at Eddie, and we just turn in that quest. I know the NCR has troops near Prim, so talk to the locals and find out... So, Eddie's final quest is to send me over to Prim to figure out why the NCR hasn't attempted to retake the prison as yet. And uh, fast travelling to Prim actually lets you skip the landmines. Uh, notice that you get the Prim location way over there, but you fast travel here, you end up right over here. So, uh, first things first, I'm going to head round the side. And part of the reason is I want the... Sheriff's Duster and Sheriff's Hat, both of which are very, very useful. And also there's some very valuable ammo to be had around here. Some uh, of the .308 ammo. Now, uh, this bit of the game is actually surprisingly difficult. When you're underleveled and early in the game, it's quite difficult to pull this off. So, 
I am going to put on my NCR armor because it's the best armor I've got going and just make a run for the door. No, no, leave me alone. You see, my damage threshold is fast enough, which is good, and just get inside. Good, good. get inside. Uh, so that's good. Uh, my damage threshold is actually uh, high enough to resist uh, the bullets they're throwing at me, which is great. I don't know what it was brought you to prim, youngster. And Johnson Nash greets me at the door. So now I can ask him if he knows anything about the NCR planning to attack the prison north of here. With a speech of 30, uh, I can get him to tell me. No need to get upset, youngster. And he will tell me that the NCR is planning to hit the prison very, very soon. Yep, they remained there. They are now all miss, and I will make a run back to the bridge. Don't know how far or how aggressively they'll decide they want to follow me. Doesn't look like they're particularly fast. Oh, no, there might be a bit. I'll just drop down here. And if they decide they want to chase, they will run into the NCR. So it will be fine. They still moving? I think they just decided they were going to run into one of the mines. I might just go around and see if there's. Uh, I might just go around and see if there's a corpse to be looted there. Pop a quick stim pack. It's actually the first stim pack of the entire run. It might be. Uh, first of what will be many. Can't see a corpse. Could have been thrown somewhere. Might have been thrown down. Not sure. Oh well. Thought there might be a corpse. Possibly he's just had his legs blown off and he's decided that uh, as a consequence he's going to change his mind about that. Now you can go and uh, you can go and help out uh, the NCR uh, taking back the NCR correctional facility. I am not going to do that because um, if you do, then you're kind of committed to um, the NCR winning. And it is, I have seen in the past, sometimes the NCR actually loses uh, that fight. Especially if you don't do anything to help uh, because, say, Scrambler inside the prison actually has some quite good guns. Um, Scrambler in the prison actually does have some quite good guns. And as a result, can, oh, whoa, that was a bad decision. Have I just... Mess this up. Okay. Okay. Good. For a minute there, I thought they might be all about to turn half the This is why it's a good idea not to um, not to wear NCR armor because sometimes you can forget you're wearing it and wander into areas where it's very much not welcome, like uh, like right there. Uh, I was very lucky actually. I kind of feel like uh, doors might well have uh, opened fire on me for. Uh, for doing something as stupid as wandering up to him while wearing NCR armor. Especially when this prison is apparently on high alert. They're worried about the NCR storming in. I think if I just show up in NCR armor, it's not going to go down very well. What? Uh, so let's tell Eddie about that. NCR planning a raid. Sounds like they're already here. There's no way I'm letting them take me alive. There's no reason for you to stick around and help us. But so, I get 100 bottle caps and some experience, which takes me up to level 3. And that brings me to, you know what, I'm actually going to do that. Uh, I'm going to put a uh, lockpick up to 40 now. And I'm going to be hidden here. And now what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to drop a save just in case this goes wrong. Uh, I'm going to, by the way, I'm going to be dropping saves. It's not because I actually do want to, um, to spam uh, save and load. It's primarily because I want to, uh, I'm fully aware that... Sometimes uh, this game is a little bit uh, can crash, uh, so I do want to alleviate the uh, the risk of that happening. If you come out of this building and you are not dressed as the NCR, the NCR will attack you. So now the NCR will come on in, and because I'm dressed as the NCR, they will be totally happy and fine with me being here. Now I'm just going to hang around um, because. You know, um, I'm not going to kill anyone, but I'm perfectly happy to be a scavenger in this particular instance. Oop. So I'm just going to kind of run around uh, collecting uh, collecting corpses. 
A little bit, a little bit morbid, mind you, but uh, I think it's all right. Uh, this is a very good area to kind of collect, uh, to collect everything in, purely because there's going to be a large amount of dynamite in this area. The NCR are moving into the main building. This bit can be very interesting because they can lose. The NCR can most definitely lose. There will be casualties on uh, on both sides in this fight. And you could argue that's not actually that bad a thing. Uh, NCR open fire. Who are they firing at? Who are they going for? NCR really did not like that guy. Now, normally when they've cleared out the main courtyard, they don't bother clearing out the, the barracks or anything. Instead, they go straight for the uh, the main building. And so they're going to do that now. So I want to be pretty much last in because I want to be right at the back. There's some really good slow movement going on. I feel like this, this might be cowardice here. Might be a bit of cowardice going on. Uh, so I will follow them inside. And the NCR are all kind of over here. I'm not going to try and influence this, uh, this at all. I'm simply going to uh, hang around and watch. And the NCR seems to be doing a pretty good job. The NCR have lost a few people of them, their own here. They're not exactly. Uh, that this isn't. Uh, this isn't a whitewash. Uh, so, but that's good because NCR armor is uh, is really valuable. Um, so definitely worth kind of having. And their service rifle is actually a really, really, uh, really, really valuable as well. So scrambler has dropped some good stuff. The brass knuckles especially are great. The brass knuckles weight one to value thirty. Just turn on the light so you can see uh, exactly who I'm looting. Oh, Eddie himself is dead. I get the administrator. Okay, so I get the actual key, which is nice. He's got the plasma pistol and another knife. Knives are worth having. Powder gang he ended up lying on top of. This guy had two 9mm submachine guns. This guy was, uh, yeah, that might be a little bit of overkill there. And someone else's head. Oh no, that's Eddie's head. Eddie's head actually flew off. Uh, because I picked up that key, I can just open this door. And it is not deemed um, wrong to open this door. I always kind of worry that are oh, the NCR going to kind of uh, have a bit of a fit uh, about me opening the door. Uh, but no, they are uh, they're totally fine with it. But mainly, it's worth looking. Uh, it's worth doing for all the stuff on uh, on the desk. So you've got some nine mm ammo. You have some uh, 12, yeah, you've got some uh, some shotgun, some magnum, but most importantly all, you have an explosive crate that's got some dynamite in it that's worth loads, and frag grenades, uh, so all of that is really valuable, so that's definitely kind of worth having. So, that is uh, I Fought the Law, uh, and indeed the law did win. Um, but on the plus side, I am not in any way an enemy of the Powder Gang, as I haven't done anything to upset them. I consider that to be a positive result. So, step outside. Now, uh, with the prison quest dealt with, I can finally now head back to Good Springs and do Ghost Town Gunfight. Uh, because it doesn't really matter uh, that uh, what's going to happen there now, because uh, I've already kind of uh, I've already dealt with the only Powder Gang quest that I actually need to be uh, that I actually want to be taken care of here. It's apparently night now. More time passed in that prison than I thought. Ah, uh, time passes quickly in prisons, apparently. Not sure. Possibly it does. So, just head back to Good Springs. And we are already uh, fully set up. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go and sleep to morning. Not because I think you actually need to. I think you can do this. Uh, you can do this at night. Uh, but I like doing things during the day. I think it's, uh, it's uh, nicer. Now just head back up to Ringo. Did Sonny agree to help us? She sure did. Several days ago, in fact. I think Cheyenne might have had a bad run-in with some enemy early on. Slightly worried that Cheyenne has very little health. I really don't want the dog to die. We're going to find a way to get this dog to survive. Okay, here we go. Superior armor. Now is the time. Joe Cobb. This is one of the few things we're actually going to need. Oh. That guy's fine. That guy doesn't have a gun. This guy has a gun. But not for long he doesn't. 
now, just to keep running around in circles. And that guy is screwed. Who else has got a gun? Anyone else got a gun at all? No? Okay, just literally keep them running around in circles. Oh, that guy's got a gun. Joe Cobb is cowering, interestingly, even though he's like probably the most powerful of all of them. Oh, what the... F don't know what just happened there. Oh, Joe Cobb is actually moving again. Nope, just need to line up his gun. There we go. Just missed with all the shots. Good. I think Sunny Smile should be able to take this. Either case, I'm drawing the fire, so Ringo can do the damage. Just going to check that the puppy's okay. The dog's fine. Good. The dog is fine. That's the important bit. Joe Cobb and Ringo are just... Uh, how are they doing? Ringo has most of his health. Joe Cobb has very little health left. Yeah, Joe Cobb's in trouble. So I just need to hang back and Ringo will take care of his own problem. Okay, so Ringo's just going to deal with Joe Cobb by himself. Who's that? It's Powder Ganger. Okay, so I don't think anyone in town has died. So I'm just going to get on looting their corpses. They have a load of dynamite on them. So, well, make sure... I'm idolised by good Ah, oh, but I am shunned. Shunned by the Pirate Gangers. Which I think is unfair, because I didn't actually do anything to them apart from shoot the gun out of one guy's hands. So now, just keep on with that. Desperado cowboy hat. Shark guns. Baseball bat is very valuable. I think there was another guy. No, there was another guy over here. I owe you a huge favour for this. Here. You really don't. You actually killed Joe Cobb all by yourself. Uh, but thank you for the hundred caps. I'll stick around for a bit longer. And he will also tell me where he's going. So, there we go. And have I already done this guy? Yeah, I've already done that guy. So the only one left is Joe Cobb himself, who's down there, who also is carrying a stealth boy, which he doesn't bother to use. So that's fine. So just take all of that. So, that was all pretty easy. And even better, even though she had only a tiny sliver of health left, the puppy survived. Really isn't that the important thing. Hello, Trudy. I'm glad that business is over. Yep, I'm glad that business is over too. So, quickly just nip into the store and sell everything that you just got off the Powder Ganger's corpses. Bearing in mind that you didn't actually do any of the killing at all. That was a hell of a fight. It was, and I didn't actually help, but I got all the spoils from it. So, oh no, this guy's got no money left. Ah, oh, oh well, I've already cleared him out. Never mind, I will go and deal with that in Prim. Oh yes. Oh, that's a very good hat. Yeah, okay, this gun, this gun fight was worth it just for the hat. Yeah, that, that's a good hat. That's a very good hat. So... That is, uh, that's the first few missions, uh, which is pretty good. So I think we've, uh, we've done everything that we can really do in Good Springs. And now we need to head on down to Prim itself. So I'm just going to fast travel down to Prim. And okay, we're safe for the minute at least. So that was the opening areas of Fallout New Vegas No Kill Run. Let's just quickly do the check-in to verify that I am... Uh, I'm definitely not cheating. So, no people killed, uh, no computer, uh, no creatures killed. Does it actually prove to me that I've killed no robots? All right, you might just have to take my word for it that I'm not killing any robots, but I promise I'm not killing robots. In the event that I run into robots, I will let you know. Uh, so, we've done three quests. Uh, we have killed no one and we have killed no creatures. So, let's just head round uh, to Prim. And this has been Fallout New Vegas. And as we head into Prim, where people... Where are the people? Where are the people? Well, this is quite frankly anticlimactic. Okay! There are no people here anymore. Um, possibly completing the prison gets rid of them? Not sure. Completing the prison might get rid of them. Uh, I definitely haven't killed them. And there's, there's no corpses. 
Uh, Alright, I may have just learned something new about Fallout New Vegas, and wouldn't it be wonderful if I had just learned something new about Fallout New Vegas, even after all these playthroughs. Next time on Fallout New Vegas No Kill Run, I will be heading in and speaking to Johnson Nash about what we need to do, and I will also be having to try and storm the Bison Steve and the, what is it, 12 odd, uh, 12 odd people inside, despite being underleveled and being completely unable to fire back, so... Uh, that's, that's worth viewing. I've done this before and that's difficult. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I've been John, this has been Many a True Nerd, and this has been Fallout New Vegas No Kill. Thank you very much, and goodbye.